I want to talk about the free radical videos. Make, make a free radical video and send it to me. Send me the video file. And actually, if you send me the video file, I can uh, put a text over it rather than remixing. I can't put uh, audio over it. Uh, it's, it's just their own music and I don't want to do that. So here's my, I want to just create a context for the idea of making a free radical. And by the way, there have been uh, 10, 12, 13, 14 free radical people. People out there are cluing in to the idea of the free radical video. They're sending me videos on my channel. Check it out, the free radical videos. And what I want to do is I want to clarify something. And I know there are a lot of com conscious souls, people of conscience out there, not just YouTube land everywhere, but you know, we talk to each other through YouTube. So I want to create a context for this idea of the free radical video. And it comes out of a visit by another artist, Steven Schellenberger, and I'm a painter and my my expertise, my expertise as all artists in the past have done, the good artists, the good artists, I'm not talking about decorators and people that sell out to the oligarchs to decorate their halls, their walls. This is meaningless, meaningless art. The people that are producing work in order to satisfy some ignorant slob who has money. This is not my art. This is not who I'm interested in. I don't want you on my site. I don't want to talk to you. I don't even want to have you near me. I don't want to have you within a hundred miles of me. This is not who I am. I am with the people of conscience. And as a painter, as an artist, what I'm interested in is creating spirit. The spirit, the spirit, the sense of ourselves not the information. And I was listening to a few other YouTubers, quite concerned, understandably so. Fukushima is the destroyer of all, of all worlds. The quote that Oppenheimer made uh, uh, the, from the Bhagavad Gita, Shiva saying, now I become death, destroyer of worlds. Fukushima is now ravaging, ravaging our biology the entire biology on the planet. And the idea for me as a painter is not to create information that you latch onto, but is to provide a spirit for you to be able to absorb the information. Because I believe we've now become, this is supposedly the information age. We are not in the information age. We are in the age of fission. And the free radicals have identified this very clearly. And it came out of a visit from Steven Schellenberger, a fabulous artist. We spent three weeks in the studio making work. And out of that experience came the idea that we need to, that we wanted to make videos of people, of ourselves to begin with, walking. Stephen, one morning he woke up and he said to me, oh, I, 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 wanna, I wanna do a video. For, I saw this tree yesterday and I wanna walk uh, from behind the tree toward the camera. And I said, well, we can't get out to the tree. It's muddy, it's icy, it's cold, it's whatever. And uh, let's do it on a road. We did it on a foggy road. And Stephen comes out of, the, out of the mist, out of the fog, into the camera, walking past the camera. He creates a text. So the, the feeling of this, make a free radical video. It's a challenge to make a free radical video. And this is the idea behind it. The idea is to formulate, with, to show others, to show ourselves, to prove to ourselves that the spirit is alive and well for our betterment. You want to make this place a better place. Make a free radical video. It is in symphony, in communion with people of conscience. It's not just spouting the information. We all know how bad it is, but we're not committed to actually attaching ourselves to those people that have the same feeling, the same conscience. So the idea behind the free radical video 
And it may seem insignificant to people, a 30 second video, a one minute video, that's how long it should be. I want it to be no longer than a minute, a minute and 20 seconds, something like that. Is not the idea that it's some meaningless gesture. It is not a meaningless gesture because you are in communion with those who are of equal conscience. And the art has always been the infrastructure for us to be able to connect to that which is around us. And when I say infrastructure, I'm saying that you look at a beautiful work of art, you are tied into that feeling. And it's the feeling we're not getting tied into. People can reject Fukushima and the atrocities being committed, the atrocities that are worldwide, that what I call the Akhenatans, the oligarchs, the holier-than-thous, the divine right of kings, have hijacked our feelings. We need to reclaim that. And I believe it'll be reclaimed through the art to connect to the feeling. The art represents the feeling. And this is why I, I, I suggest to people that are out there, and if right now it's only been some videos, but I will make, I will make sure that all the videos are posted. I have to find people to help me. If, if there are actually a great resonance, if there is a resonance for this, I'm, I'm going to have to create the infrastructure to post those videos. So make a free radical video to be in symphony and communion with the people that feel the same way you do. Not just spout off how bad it is, but make the video.